Yo guys, it's JJ here, and today, as you've seen by the title of the video, I'm going to be taking you guys through a beat that I made, tailor made, of course, by yours truly, for Baby Keem. And let's get straight into it. So first of all, I'll take you guys how I made the sample, and first preset I used was Friendliness from Analog Lab 5, a very ambient preset, very nice, so let me show you what I did. As you guys can see, came up with a nice little repair, the pattern that repeats every two bar, and then after the four bar, I just added a bit of variation by adding this nice little top part that replaces the second and third note that was part of here now, as you guys can see just took it up an octave and that's all i really did for a variation but it sounds really good and really authentic as well as that i clicked alt r randomize my velocity make it sound more human you know more of a natural feel and with that all being said this is what the melody sounds like there you have it and as you guys can see just by a small little bit of variation which is just literally taking two notes that i've already played and taking it up a whole octave it gives that nice little bit of variance so sometimes if you get a bit of like a creative stuck and you can't really figure out what to do next i recommend just messing with the octaves of the notes and seeing what comes out as for effects i've got myself a very basic eq and then as well as that a nice little reverb and then on top of that i stereo separated this a tiny bit like 31 percent and by doing all of these different things, it just makes the sound a bit more ambient and it just really enhances that kind of baby keem ambience, if that makes sense. Then next up, after laying down the melody, I got myself a nice little synth bass because, you know, we've got to get them synths in there for doing a baby keem kind of thing. And it's a preset for Omnisphere called the Growler Mood bass. And as you guys all know, I am very familiar with this bass as it is pretty much my go-to. As for the pattern, as you guys can see, I've laid down some notes. Honestly, I just went with the feel of what I thought sounded really nice and created a nice little ambient a nice bit of bit, like emotion that carries through with baby keen style so i just played these as a, as a little freestyle and it sounded really good so this is what the bass sounds like And there you have it and as you guys can see real quick to add that emotion that i was talking about we're using notes in tension and as well as that notes that are literally just one note apart and that just helps create that kind of little bit of ambience tension vibe and again just bring it all together and as for effects i've literally just got decapitator on the preset and used beefy and that was all i really did next up we got styles and instance of serum and i used a preset called the milky way and it's from the shinju volume 3 it's a nice key and i thought it sounded really dope and as you guys can see i came up with a nice little counter melody kind of following the bass line as you can see but as i said before i am using this whole idea slash method i am using this whole idea of how the notes are like one note apart creating tension and then two notes apart here in the sense of more tension more ambience more feel and that's that whole baby keen kind of vibe so that's what i really went for a nice little synth bell without further ado this is what it sounds like and there you have it guys very simple but as you guys can hear very nice ambient and creates that nice little bit of contrast and then for the effects again i've got a really basic eq going here calling off a few highs and a lot of the mid lows then i've got myself a little rc20 just took down the store a bit and turned off the noise because i like that little vintage sound i came with it and of course on top of that this is the preset that i used for the delay gave it a nice little bit of air candy you know a bit of movement to the whole sample so this is why i used the delay and on top of that of course a bit of a heavy reverb because we like to have that ambience and that keem sound so that's what i went for then last but not least i panned this a bit to the left and as well as that i stereo separated it around 50 percent just so again the sound gets widened goes in the mix much better super super dope next up we got ourselves another instance of serum and i'm using a pad called the d pad 2 and it's literally from the pad bank in the stock serum sounds and as you guys can see i kind of use this pad as like a lead melody as i was making the beat i just played it and i thought it sounded really good so again using the same methodology i had things two notes apart one note apart for tension the two note thing doing the whole emotional sound and it really really came together nicely so that's why i laid down this pattern i kind of just went through the flow of things found a sound that was good and then laid a pattern that complemented it well but as you can see the counter melodies are really really simple here just so it carries just so that they don't clash with each other too much and as well as that it just all complements each other much further when it's all quite simple so with that being said this is what the pad slash lead slash counter melody sounds like
And there you have it. As for effects, another EQ, quite basic as you can see. Then I added a bit of a chorus because I thought it sounded good. And then on top of that, another reverb, which is a bit heavy. Then with this melody, I panned it to the right so it didn't clash too much with the other counter. And then I stereo separated this a bit further so it's a bit further back in the mix. And now we've got ourselves another instance of Omnisphere. And for the preset, I use a choir woman's eyes with the weird arrow thing going up, as you can see here. That was a preset of choice. I felt like a choir would add the whole ambient effect to another level and add a bit more emotion to it also. That's what I did. And as you guys can see, very basic chord progression here. Using that one note apart thing for a bit of tension, because that's what the whole point of it is. And then just thought it was really good, so I kept it quite simple, as you can see by a pattern. Nothing much going on. However, it does the job really good, especially to fill in that extra room. So, without further ado, this is what the choir sounds like. And as you guys can hear, it sounds very dark to be fair in this sense, however, it complements the ambience and the emotional counter melodies that I played throughout the whole thing. So having this in the back and not too prominent in the mix, it really, really adds that extra bit of emotion and like gritty feel to the whole thing. As for effects, again, another very basic EQ, cutting off some frequencies I wasn't a fan of. And then another bit of reverb because we want to get that ambience out there for Keem. And then on top of that, I stereo separated this to the max because I wanted it to be very, very far back in the mix. And now, last but not least, I rendered out all the different instruments and as well as that, I took it down two. 200 cents just because I thought the pitch sounded much better so the whole scale of it shifted from a B minor all the way down to an A minor and that's where we are and now without further ado this is what the sample sounds like and there you have it as you guys can see very synthy, which is kind of Keem's sound. Very ambient, carries that emotion, that bit of gritty tension. And I thought it'd do really, really well on the deluxe of the melodic blue. So there you have it. And one thing I'd like to show you guys real quick by highlighting all of this. As you can see, with the five different sounds I have, I do not play it all at the same time ever. I like to have my beats progress. And that's how also Baby Keem likes to have his beats. Because if you switch up the beat throughout the thing, you mess with the melody, you don't make it too repetitive. It keeps the listener on their toes, it keeps the artist on their toes, and it brings more to the table for everyone. So I really recommend trying to do that. Keep a bit of variance throughout your beats, as you guys can see again. Nothing really plays throughout the whole thing at the same time. The only time I have the sample really playing all together is literally the bridge, not even the chorus. So do as you please, but... And now, without further ado, let's get to the drums. Now, first of all, we got ourselves a very basic slap clap pattern, and we're using the Lex Luger slap clap. So this is what it sounds like. And there you have it. And next up, we got some of the hi-hats. And as you can see, very basic hi-hat pattern. Didn't have really too much going on here because I felt like the beat already did so much, especially with the samples. So I thought I'd keep the hats quite simple. And this is what it sound like. And there you have it. Next up, we have ourselves a kick pattern. And as you guys can see, very, very basic. Repeats literally every two bar. And then I did like a little bit of variance at the end. So this is what my kick sounds like. And there you have it. And one quick tip, of course, that I always like to remind you guys about is with your kicks, Click Control and A, and as you guys can see, it highlights everything. And then use your scroller wheel, and then max your velocity out. Very simple. It makes the kick punchier, louder without much clipping, and it just makes everything punch so much harder in the mix, especially on that low end. So it really, really sticks out. Now, next up, we got ourselves the A weight pattern here, and as you can see. The new A wave pattern has gone down by two semitones because the root notes have all shifted down by two. Remember from a B minor to an A minor, so that explains why the root notes are different here. As you can see, very basic pattern essentially with a few rolls playing out here and here. And then adding a bit of like bounce to it by adding a few more 808s playing. So that's what I did. And without further ado, this is what the 808 sounds like.
and there you have it and real quick as i said the same thing with the kicks click control a and max your velocity just so your kicks and your 808s can really really punch through the mix and now next up we got of course a snare pattern very very basic repeat every two bar and then at the very end i have a nice little snare roll here just for a bit of variation and without further ado this is the snare pattern And there you have it and next up i have a open hat which repeats every four bar and as you can see very very basic it's just that i like a little bit of mm on the kick whenever they hit so that's why i played it for and this is what the open hat sounds like boom and now without further ado this is what the whole drum pattern sounds like for baby keen's ambient beat And there you have it so you've made it to the end of the tutorial thank you very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed it don't forget to like comment subscribe and all that down below and i'll see you in the next one peace